All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comment. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. All right, so the intro actually cut off during the recording. So uh, this is a voiceover. But uh, before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on gfxcomma.com um, this logo we're going to be recreating is made by Hasis Roblox I'm going to leave a link to his Twitter in the description below but uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, check out the website alright to get started first things first we are going to use our text tool and we are going to type our text so, so I'm just going to use the exact same words just for consistency purposes so I'm gonna have Ritzy, so Ritzy, as you can see, and uh, to enlarge it, what you could do is you could just you could just Control A to select it, and go up to text and just bring this up 500. Just move it, go back to your text tool, and we're going to change the font. So select a font of your choice. All right, so I have settled with this font right over here, and uh, we're just gonna change the color. So select the text and just select the same color just for right now um, we are going to add a gradient later anyway so yep alright so if you pay attention over here um, the three letters in the middle the IT and the Z are actually smaller so how we are going to do that is first you want to copy the text layer so hit control J and uh, with this new copy we have we're gonna right click and go to rasterize type um, once you rasterize the text layer you can't edit the, the um, you can't edit the type anymore so that's why we copied it so we have a backup now go up to your rectangular marquee tool and we're just gonna select these three letters right click and go to layer via cut this is going to separate it into a new layer and we're just going to control T hold alt as you're dragging we're just going to make these smaller as you can see and we could also separate the R and the Y just to have more control over each individual letter now once you're done with that you want to click on the top layer the IT and the Z hold shift and click on the bottom to select all of them control G control J Control E, so we have the backup in the group and the flattened layer separate as you can see. Now you want to hit Control T. We're gonna go to right click, go to warp, and up here you want to select arc as you can see, and we're just gonna arc the text like so. There we go. Let's compare. Um actually let's try something else let's try maybe shell lower something just like this and uh, we could add maybe just a tiny tiny arc I think that looks a lot better alright now let's move on to the text right click and go to blending options right up here hit the gradient overlay opacities all the way up and I have the angle at 90 click on the gradient box double click click on um, the bottom color and now select the top for the same gradients there we go now we're gonna go to inner shadow all the way up blend mode is on normal colors on white choke is all the way up size is down angles on 90 and distance you're just gonna move it like so now that we have that we are going to right click and go to rasterize layer style and now you want to go to your rectangle tool right over here change the color to white and drag some rectangles just like this so here's one duplicated by holding alt and shift and just dragging control T we're gonna make the second one thicker now you wanna hold control click on both of these hit the control E to merge hold alt and go in between these two layers and once you see this icon you just wanna click down and control T we're just gonna rotate 
right over here and change the mode actually just keep it on normal but we're going to lower the opacity just like that and uh, you can use your eraser tool right over here to make some changes as you wish I'm um, just gonna adjust the brush a little bit some minor brush just some minor changes just like that now we are going to move on to the 3d text effects so what you want to do is hold alt on the text layer and drag down this is going to make a duplicate and just move this down as you can see Control T we're gonna scale this something like that and first of all we're gonna change the color of this so we can actually see what is going on so I'm gonna select this color right over here alright so now with this what you wanna do is you wanna make a new layer alright go to your eyedropper tool select this color now go to your pen tool make sure it's on shape the fill is the color and the stroke is off and now you just want to connect these points alright once you are done with that um, click on the have this one selected and hold shift to click on the bottom and control E to merge now we're going to start applying some of these effects first things first to make a new layer hold alt go in between and click to clip it in and now uh, go to your lasso tool polygonal lasso tool right over here so let's start off with the first letter we have the R and what I'm going to do is just make a selection around this specific part because as you can see he has this kind of effect going on so go to your brush tool um, hardness is all the way down opacity turn down flow as well and for the color we are going to click on this color that he has right over here and we are just going to brush like so as you can see actually he has this little cut over here as well but it's not that big of a deal so let's do this color now and just paint over here the reason we have this selection is it cuts it off right over here just like just like this so just go ahead and do that and we can just turn it down all right make a new layer and just repeat this process for the rest of the text Alright, so I just finished and uh, I changed the background color to a darker color so we can actually see. Um, I'm going to group all of these as well. 3D and text and we're just going to move this up. I'm going to copy it and flatten these two. So now I am going to move on and uh, make the studio text. It's pretty much the same process with the 3D effects. Um, but for the inside patterns you just want to use your pencil and just do the shape like this clip it into the text and just lower the opacity so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now you see the reason I split these tutorials into parts is because this text right here took us 15 minutes and uh, if I'm going to explain every single thing in one video it's gonna take an hour or more and especially since this is considered a uh, a simple logo at that if I was going to go into detail to creating the diamond shape and then the dollar sign this little uh, suitcase over here is gonna take a long time and uh, it's pretty tiring so so that's why I, you know I speed up some parts of the video or I just split the entire video into separate parts so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and do the studio text
Alright, so I just got done with the studio text. Um, I'm just going to explain how to know how to make these, not in this video. Alright, so if you want me to make complete logo tutorials where I show you step by step in full detail how to make every single icon and uh, how to, you know, just the whole process, right? But like I said, they're probably going to take, you know, separate parts and long videos for each of them to complete the whole thing so if you want that make sure to like this video subscribe and comment that down below but for this one I'm just gonna go ahead and use some free icons and just show you how to put um, this thing together and to just finalize it alright so I went online and I found this icon which I think works perfectly and um, now all right, now all he did was just put this behind the text like that. Let me check. Yep, and just right over here. Flip it and just place it right over here. All right, so I got this right over here, and I'm just gonna place this. I think it's a bit bigger, so right over here. We can take these and merge all of them. Go to rectangular marquee tool and we're just going to cut these right over there. Select all of these, so hold shift and click, control G, control J, and control E. Now I'm just going to go back to the white background. Alright, so make a new layer underneath the text. Hold control, click on this icon to make a selection. Select modify and expand we're gonna go 35 um i think 35 should be fine yep go back to this layer so make sure your colors on black and hit alt backspace as you can see now go to your pencil make a new layer and we are just going to fill in these gaps all right so Now you just want to merge this and change the color to gray. As you can see, you get a little stroke as well if you want. Alright, so let's take everything, control G, same thing. Right click and I'll just go perspective. And tilt it a little bit. Condense it. Yep. And also go warp and arc. So as you can see, that's how you create the Ritzy Studio uh, logo. We could use some white rectangles to make some shine, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But like I said, if you want complete tutorials, make sure to comment down below and let me know. This one is just enough for you to get the basic idea and techniques on how to achieve something just like this. So, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and uh, check out our website. That's very important. We have some great products. You don't have to be an artist. Um, one of our goals as GFX Comet is as we grow, we're going to have more UI templates, more products on the store for developers who are working on the game to just purchase quick UI. So it's not just for artists. Um, we're just going to keep growing more and more. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video.